Good day, everyone. Hope you have a lovely day. So, here we have uh, this uh, this uh, LCD separator or a screen separator. You know those uh, screen separator where you put the phone on top, you heat up the, the LCD, you can easily separate the two. So, this is not for the customer. These are all two. I bought these two three years ago. And uh, from the moment I bought it until today, I never found problem with this model. Hmm? Let me see. You see, yeah, that's the model. Maybe you can't see. You see, U, U Y U E 948Q screen separator. I bought this two on AliExpress, very cheap. Less than 100 US dollars. So now, today when I try to power it on, I press the switch several times. Usually it's giving me some LED. I can see some LED and start to count the temperature will rise from 0 to 100. Because I set maximum limit on a on 100 degrees Celsius so that I won't burn anything. I think around the 80 to 100. So that is the situation here. So we have to fix this. I never fix it. I never open it. But the thing has got too many screws. You can see screws here. Screws here. Some screws at the bottom every side here we have ac input we have the display thing that the display you see the model it's the uu uu 948q screen separator i bought it from china on aliexpress three years ago so what i would do we have the AC input here. We check that cable for power. Was it already plugged in? 216 volts. You can see on the screen. It has power. Let's plug it here. It's plugged. Let's try to turn on the switch. On there's nothing on the screen it's just dead it's not supposed to work like that usually when i press the power on switch here here i'll start to have some readings they will be rising from z from 20 something up to the maximum limit which i set on this lcd separator this is a nice tool if you are in phone repairs because in order to take out the LCD maybe you want to work on the charging port we need to do it smart otherwise we end up with a big problem because suppose the customer bring in the phone for charging port replacement and in order to reach the charging port you have to take out the screen without these two you can damage the screen and they end up in big problem. So that's why I bought this LCD separator. So what can be fault here? Hmm? What can be fault? Here we have nothing here. It's just a switch and the sanction that the sun sanction switch. If you want heat plus moisture, you press here. If you want just heat, you press this main switch. Then some will display thing. Here on the bottom, we have the AC input. But if you check underneath the AC, I think this is a sign of a fuse. Huh? I think we have we must have a fuse here. Yeah. 
I think that's a, the best point to start. We have to start by checking the fuse here. You see here. And that's the fuse. Hmm? So, what we want to check first is the fuse. The multimeter is on diet mode. You can see zero, zero. Checking on the fuse. There's no beep. It's supposed to be like this. It's supposed to be like this, like zero, zero. And here, so clearly the fuse is blown up. Why the fuse is blown up, I don't know. This just happened early in the morning. So, we have this fuse. And we have another, this is a fair, fair manufacturer. Look here, we have another fuse here. This. We have a spare fuse. Huh? Let's check that spare fuse. We are just saved. Huh? I didn't know there are still fair people around the world. The, the manufacturer this LCD separate and put an extra fuse. This fuse is good. And this one is gone. So all what we need to do is to put this fuse here. Fair people. I don't know now if it's not the fuse only. This fuse is also going to blow up. So all what we need to do. I wish if it's a fuse only. Because today I'm lazy. Just like this. Good. Now. Let's plug it on power source and see what will happen to the screen. Now plugged. And it's working. Huh? Check on the screen. Huh? Check there. So that was just a fuse. What a nice repair. Check here, it's on 23, and the max temperature is set on 100. So it's now changing. Now it's 25, 27, 28, 29, 30. So it will be counting upwards, upwards until it reaches 200. And the plate is starting getting warm. I uh, starting getting warm. So, on the suction button here, when you press it, it will start producing heat with the, a little bit of moisture. You hear the sound? If I press this button, I've been using these two for three years, nearly three years, no issue. So I'm happy. Uh, nothing damaged inside except the fuse. So the problem was this fuse. Of course, there are so many ways to, to fix such kind of problems. I can bridge this fuse with the wire. And it's still it to work fine. But if the manufacturer give us a spare fuse, why not using it? So that was just a nice cool repair on a Monday. Like, subscribe, don't forget to turn on the notification for future updates. And if you like this too, just check on AliExpress. They are so plenty. And uh, 
these two will save the fables. Trust me, I fix a lot of phones using these two, and it's very nice. Everything is very fantastic using these two. So, like, subscribe, don't forget to turn on the notification for future updates, and see you on the next game. Bye.